Hello everyone, Gear Show and Teller here. Call me Teller for short. Here with another knife from my collection. First, let me recap. I started off with my very first knife, the first knife I ever bought from watching a YouTube video. This is the knife that started me collecting knives, the Bird Car Cara 1. There's two of these. So it would just be Bird Car Cara but just for the sake of the video, I'll make reference to both in this video. Hey, I give, I'm giving you a New Year's bonus. I will also show you my Bird Car Car 2. Well, anyway, here, Bird Car Car 1 with the stainless steel handle scales. Stainless steel. So it's heavy. It's real heavy. After I, after I had my fun with this knife, I watched more videos on knives and I found out there were different handle materials. They made this knife with different handle scales. So in rolls, as after I found it, it took a while to find it. I didn't get into knives soon enough to to get the bird car car line when it was still new, where it was still being heavily produced. And by the way, remember this these knives were made in China. It's a bird, it's a sub brand of Spider Co. And they are completely outsourced as bird brand by into China. Which is why the knife steel is what it is. I'll get to that in a second. So in rolls, in rolls, I found one. The Bird Car Car 1 with the G10 handle scales. G10. There's a good grip when I run my finger on it, or run my thumb on it. But not too much to where it snags on my pockets. I can slip this in my pocket and slip it right back out with relative ease. Of course not as easy as the stainless steel handle version. But it is tolerable. Very tolerable. No problem. You can see from the <clears throat> right here I have the scuff marks. I did wear this knife. I wore it I, and I truly enjoyed it. And there you go. The same blade shape that you saw on this knife right here. The bird car car and stainless steel handle. I'll put this one away. Okay, I didn't mention this the first time with the other knife. But right here, this is a hollow grind. We have the main part of the blade up here. Oh, let me lower that. And it comes down here, you, you see this line right there, and then it goes, whoop, it goes down. It's a hollow grind. What does that mean? If you can see it, it's hard for me to show it to you, unless you, you really know what it looks like. This is not the secondary grind right here. It's not flat down. It doesn't go straight down. It curves, like my, like my pointer here. It curves like this. So the curve, it goes here on this secondary grind right here. So it's a hollow grind and comes to a nice point. I've read the advantage, I've seen videos, listen, that the advantage of such a grind is good for splitting open something really wide. For example, skinning an animal. If you're into hunting and you need to skin your animal, a hollow grain would be what you want. So the the edge does its job. The edge does its job to rip open, and then the hollow grind as it comes down here, as it comes down, whoop! It splits it even more open, so it really rips it open. So mm, we could say a butcher would use this kind of grind. Now, Bird Cara Cara Two, the second version of this. Of this bird knife right here G10 handle same thing but you'll notice right away it has a different grind it is indeed straight down straight down straight grind so this has tremendous as I've read and as I've seen tremendous fillet thin slicing capability because the well 
maybe we can do that too. You can see here that the blade on the bird car car one is thicker than the bird car car two because of the grind. So with the bird car car two, full flat grind. You'll hear the acronym FFG right here. Full flat grind blade. Whoop. And I talked about, and I mentioned I was going to talk about the blade material. All the knives on the bird line. Oh, too close. Right there, that's good. 8CR13 MOV. My metallurgy, my metallurgy, oh my god, metallurgy, it's a bit rusty, <laughs> get it, 8CR, <laughs> the CR is chromium, if I believe, if I remember correctly, so 8 parts, of, uh, everything is a powder steel, so they have the powder version of chromium, MO, monibendium, I think, monibendium, and the V should be vanadium. So 8 parts chromium, 13 parts monobendium and vanadium. That's why the number is the way it is. This is the blade steel. This is the component. So the chromium, the monobendium, and the vanadium are all in a powder form. Then they mix it together. 8 parts chromium, eight, 13 parts monobendium and 813 parts vanadium they mix it all together and this is the steel as it all melts together this is the steel that comes out this is analogous to I've heard it many times AUS8A the AUS I have no idea what that means I'm sorry but it's analogous meaning it has the same properties or very close to the properties of AUS8A AUSA, uh, mostly used by cold steel. I'll get to those knives in my collection when I get to those. So, 8, 8CR30 MOV can hold, it, it's, it, it can hold an edge pretty well and has decent rust resistance. If I shove this in snow and left it overnight, there's definitely going to be rust spots on the blade. How much? I don't know. I've never done it. I don't live in the place where it snows. Mm -mm. Okay. And here's a new one. It's also a Bird Car Car 2, but it has what's called an FRN handle. FRN. Fiberglass reinforced nylon. So this handle is made out of plastic. But it has the strength, he has added strength because of the fiberglass they mixed in with it. It is light. This knife is real light compared to the G10 model. This is heavier than this one. So if you if you harp about weight as much as nothing fat Mr. Nothing Fancy does, this is the knife for you. If in fact his review of this knife that's exactly what he said. He liked how much lighter it was. So, let's do a recap. We have the Bird Car Car 1, the heaviest of them all. This is the tank. This is a tank of a knife. Stainless steel handle with the same blade steel, 8CR13 MOV. Then I found one, a Bird Car Car 1 in G10. Notice how this one has, it goes down, I, I guess you want to call it a clip point, don't, don't, don't quote me on that. And of course, this one doesn't, the Bird Car Car 2, it just goes, whoop, straight down, full flat ground, has a nice, has a nice design here, it goes down with a hollow grind. And the last one, Bird Car Car 2, full flat grind, HCR30 MOV with the effort and handle, the lightest of them all. Well, I thank you for watching this video. Remember, I will be showing you my collection of knives. And I know I said it's going to be one knife, one video, but I think just to speed it up a little bit, 
and I will be talking longer. I wanted to put five minute videos, but I don't want to be too quick to where you're you're left wondering why does this guy not talk enough? Okay, so around ten minutes, and I will show you each model of one model knife. So this is the Bird Car Car model, and I showed you my, the four I have in my collection: Bird Car Car One stainless steel, Bird Car Car One with G10 handle, Bird Car Car Two. I say that so many times already. Wow, with G10 handle, and then Bird Car Car Two. With the FRN handle. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for many more. See you later.